Hello everyone, my name is Mike, and I'm the current graphics team lead for Revolutionary Game Studio. Today I will be doing the first ever official Thrive playthrough, so for 0.3.2, so I hope you enjoy. The first thing that'll pop up when you click begin is the tutorial. If you're a new player, I strongly recommend that you go through it and follow everything that it tells you to do. It will explain the basics of the game, such as movements, and how compounds and processes work. And in addition to that, you'll get an additional, an extra session in the editor. So you should definitely do this. Now I'm just gonna click escape. So over here, when you open the game, you can see your cell. This is the default cell that everyone starts out with. It has one vacuole, which is the circular compound over here. Uh, the cell's turning, so it's kind of hard to show. Uh, that Com uh, that organelle, it stores the various compounds that you absorb while floating in the environment, and the, the ones that you make. So if you look at the bottom right of the screen, you see this box which says stuff like ammonia, oxytoxy, and those are the compounds that you have. So currently I have 40 ATP and 5 glucose. Now to the left of that organelle is the purple mitochondria. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. So it uses glucose and oxygen, which is also found in the environment, to create ATP, which is what the flagella, the two things behind you, use for movement. Now you can press the minus button or the scroll wheel to zoom out. That's usually how I play since you can see more. So let's swim around and see what we find. So this is a cloud of glucose. It is white, so this is basically sugar. If you look at the bottom right, you can see my glucose stores increasing as I'm updating this, as I'm absorbing this. This is another member of my species, doesn't really do anything, just floats around. That is some algae. It's uh, the, the green organelles that it has around it are the chloroplasts. Uh, you can get those by assimilating some bacteria. And to the top right, that is the first predatory cell you will see. If you notice the X, that is the agent vacuole and it is shooting X's at me. Now, if I touch one of those X's, you will see that my health will go down, which is my hit points to the top left, and I do not want to do that, so I'm just going to run away. Uh, the light blue compound, that is oxygen. It is used in combination with the white glucose to make ATP. The yellow thing next to it is ammonia. You absorb it uh, to make... Uh, amino acids, which is used in reproductase, which is the thing your cell uses to reproduce. Uh, if you remember that cyan creature behind me, yeah, there it is again, that one won't actually shoot toxins at you, but it will try its best to engulf you through phagocytosis, and it'll still hurt you. I'm actually going to go ahead and die right now to show you how that looks like. Let me find it. Oh. I guess it ran away. Okay, so just gonna keep absorbing compounds until I can find some predatory cell. Uh, yeah, so this is oxygen. You can see my compounds increasing as I'm do, uh, doing stuff. CO2, if you were wondering, is a byproduct of the mitochondria, uh, set cellular respiration. Okay, so the it, it absorbed me, so I'm kind of dead now. I'll spawn somewhere else in a second. Okay, so I'll just keep moving. Uh, that was probably a bad idea. If you look at the bottom right, all of my compounds are gone. So I kind of have to keep finding more compounds if I want to reproduce. So yeah, I'm just going to swim around finding stuff. Yeah, th this is fun. <laughs> uh, what should I tell you? Oh, I know. So, when swimming around, you'll also sometimes find these free-floating organelles. So, like, for example, this light green one. And if you touch it, you have a chance of absorbing it. And the light green one is a chloroplast. So, if you uh, go over it, touch it, it'll be assimilated. And then in the editor, you can add yourself a chloroplast. And be like that guy in the top right. Uh, 
And the other organelles that you can still find in the environment are the toxin vacuoles. They're, they don't look like an X. They're kind of a... Well, they're shaped like a normal vacuole. If I find one, I'll show it to you. God, there's so many chloroplasts here. La 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 la. There gotta be here somewhere. They just like randomly spawn in the environment, so sometimes you'll get like a bunch of them. And sometimes you can be like drifting for forever and not get any. Which is what I'm experiencing right now. Well, maybe I won't find any then for now. I'll, I'll show you them when I find some. Uh, if you look at the bottom right, you can see that I already have three reproductases. You need a total of five to reproduce. And usually, the majority of the time, you, what you're missing is ammonia, which is the yellow compound. So you should usually try absorbing that, and it'll help you reproduce faster. But don't get close to this guy, because it will engulf you. Uh, oh yeah, and one thing I should mention is, remember to save fairly often by clicking this button. Uh, this game is still in alpha stages, so while I'm pretty sure I fixed all of the crashes, they are still frequent enough, so you will die a lot of the time. But uh, yeah, so crashes can happen just like randomly for playing, but usually it's like during engulfment or something. Ooh, don't want to die. I already have 40 product tases. Oh, these red cells, uh, they're not, uh, they don't have any toxins that they can throw at you, but if you try to engulf them, uh, they have a, uh, some toxic compounds in themselves. So eating them will often cause you to die unless you're like really big and ha have a lot of HP. Yeah, so basically for right now, we don't really have a lot of agent gameplay. But, and it's basically like, gathering compounds. Oh, you see, I reproduced. That was pretty fun. So now, I click this button over here, and it'll take me to the editor. Yeah. So, now I am in the editor. So, I can click this to make it go away. And on the right, you have a bunch of uh, organelles. So... Moving your cursor onto it will show you a tooltip, so the cytoplasm organelle doesn't really do anything for now. In the future, we'll have some processes like glycolysis there. This is the mitochondria, so if you add multiple of them, you will have a faster uh, rate of respiration. So if you look here, it shows the process. You take one glucose, six oxygen, and it'll make you 6 CO2 on 38 ATP, but this takes a while. So, this is the vacuole. Usually you'll want quite a few of these because otherwise you'll just be throwing away compounds that you don't need. Flagella are also really nice. Uh, I'm just going to turn on symmetry. So, flagella, putting them on the sides will actually make you turn way faster. So, normally, the ones on the bottom, uh, they're kind of for thrusting movement forward. They're not very good for turning. But if you put like a ring of them around you, you'll be a pretty agile. Now, at the bottom right, you have chloroplasts and toxin vacuoles, and I actually didn't assimilate any this time, so I guess I'll just have to keep trying. Oh, one thing cytoplasm is good for is adding a bunch of health to you. So, yeah, let's try again. Oh, and this is, if you're like, uh, I don't know, if you don't like your cell, you can just press this button, and it'll like delete every single organelle. This is the back button, this is the forward button, this is symmetry. There's four-way symmetry, six-way. And over here, you can click here to rename your species, but it doesn't actually work, so I don't suggest doing that unless you want to break the game. Have fun. Okay, let's return back to the environment. So now, if you see, I'm a pretty big cell, and I'll actually show you how to engulf stuff now. Ooh, toxin vacuole. Let's see if I got that, okay. So right now, I need to find a pretty small cell, because cells need to be pretty small if you want to engulf them. Uh, let's try this. So to engulf, you just need to... Okay, that's really fast. Let's find something slower. Oh, this one. So if you press the G key, your cell will start flashing blue, and you can like begin to engulf cells. And press G again to stop. 
And if you see, it became red, but it became red inside of me, so I absorbed all of its compounds. So if you're looking at my bottom right when I did that, I actually got a bunch of compounds. Uh, not all cells give you compounds. Uh, the AI isn't really smart right now, so the cells are kind of like randomly floating in a direction. Another toxin vacuum. Yeah, so they're randomly floating in a direction. So, yeah, some, some of them have very little compounds. Some get lucky, especially the glutinous one, which is this one, because they engulf other cells. Also, the these ones, they, they don't really have that much, yeah. See, it's, it's, it's going to die right now. Yep, it's dead. Okay, so let's keep swimming. I already have four reproductases. So I want to add a toxin vacuole so I can show you. Uh, no, run away. Okay, so I don't have that much ammonia. I'll try to go get some ammonia. What else am I running low? Yeah, some glucose. Glucose is white if you forgot. Okay, let's go. God, these predator cells, they're like everywhere. And those ones. Oh yeah, and when somebody starts engulfing you, you become really slow. Three times slower, so it gets harder to run away. It also makes it hard to catch your prey. Okay, let's just find something. Oh, there it is. I just split. Okay, so let's turn off symmetry for now. And if we scroll down over here, we can... Oh, I got it! So I'm just going to add the toxin vacuole right here in the front. I'm also going to add some cytoplasm, a barrier. I just think it makes me look cooler. Oh yeah, and if you're just like interested, if you take a vacuole, you can put it here. You can put it in neighboring, but you can also put it in inside of a cytoplasm. So I could like put it there. Okay. And that makes it cost less because you're already paid for the cytoplasm. Okay, let's finish. I'll zoom out. Now at the bottom right, you see oxytoxin T. So it's inside a bunch of compounds. Uh my toxin vacuole already made one. Now who should we kill? Ooh, let's kill this. Okay, actually probably not. That's not a good idea. Uh let's find somebody weak. Who we can pick on. God, all these cells are strong. Ooh, the yellow one. The yellow ones are kind of slow and they're small. So if you press the E key, toxins leave you and you can like kill someone and you see it died. It didn't really have compounds. That's why I prefer engulfing because the little compounds that it did have, most of them just like uh, diffuse into the water. You can even kill the big ones. Let's see who kills, who dies first. Oh. I'm big enough so he can't engulf me, and I'm out of stuff. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and find some oxygen, which is what oxytoxy is made of. Oh, uh, here's a cloud. No, do I need more? I need more. Okay, let's keep... Oh, oh. Let's go. See, it can't engulf me. I'm too big now. That's, that's probably like the only reason why you would want to use cytoplasm. Because it, it, it just like massively boosts your health. My god, still no oxytoxy. I shouldn't, yeah. Maybe it's not the oxygen. Uh, uh, it's probably the ammonia because you also need uh, some amino acids to make oxytoxy. Because it's technically a protein. And don't worry, we'll have like better agents in the next releases that you'll will they, they'll be able to like specifically target organelles. So we'll have like agents that can like affect the uh the, the other cells' flagella and make them like really slow. There'll also be ones that can like target the Oh, I split and I got oxytoxy. Yeah, so agents. There'll be ones that can target mitochondria, vacuoles. Okay. I don't really know who to kill. I'll just Kill this guy. And it's dead. Okay, since we reproduced, let's go into the editor now. And pressing this button makes you really small again. And then we can just go ahead and add some chloroplasts. 
and then add a couple of vacuoles and then we can just go back into the ocean and just like not do anything let the currents and the other cells guide us yeah so this has been fun this is the first ever official playthrough of Thrive so if you liked it let me know in the comments if you have any questions please do ask and I'll try my best to respond really soon uh yeah that's basically it so thanks for watching this have a nice day oh actually one more fun thing w w wait for them to kill me yeah wait for it wait for it and 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 boom sometimes when you die uh you gotta go into a different biome and the biomes they currently don't do anything for now but they're just like really cool to look at so thanks thank you thank nair teaser for this one okay so have fun